Hi folks, I want to do a uh, uh, another beach scene with rocks like a Cornish, North Cornwall, which I'm familiar with from, from many, many holidays. Uh, but I've, I've been thinking about uh, the actual rocks I paint and I know a lot of rocks are stratified. Well, obviously the stratified, but a lot of North Cornwall is quite scree, quite a lot of scree in the cliffs, and they're very crumbly, especially around Waterscape Bay. But there are sort of I'm trying to get the shapes, not that way, but coming out of the earth that way. So I'll uh, let's see if I can draw something like it. And uh, we'll have the uh, horizon. We won't have a high horizon out there, and we can uh, just. bit of a rock there and then we'll have the sea coming in around there. That's all we need. It's just a guide. <coughs> okay, right now um, I don't want the complicated sky for this. I want to just get in some blue sky with some light clouds. The thing is, if you make a complicated scene, which it hopefully will be, or is, or an illusion of it, you don't want a busy sky because the one will compete with the other. So we'll have sort of a gentle so let's get all of that white there. We'll put that in there. We we'll get some blue. Most of these colours are from yesterday. Okay. So it's just ultramarine white. I'm going to have to mix up some more because there wasn't enough white on it but it's easy enough to do when you've had a bit of experience you can more or less replicate your colour mixes lighter as we come down. That should be enough. If it's not worth a squeeze of water out. Where you're going to go over, like the edges, you can thin the paint a bit.
Now you can press the paint into the uh, tooth of the of the primer. Now this has had two coats of PVA glue, but it's quite rough for, for where I I sanded the newly cut boards. Okay, that do. Uh, get some lighter colour on that horizon. Clean the palette. Just clean, clean bits off the edge of the knife. I can't show you the mixing. It's just too complicated. I, the paint oh, is. Uh, is down the is down the bottom. This is on a, about a sixty degree angle on my studio easel, my radial easel. Um, this is the board I use for my watercolors as well. So I have to be careful because some of this is still wet. Well, there's the palette, the makeshift palette. Lemon, uh, cadmium yellow, pale yellow ochre, cadmium red, uh, which I haven't used. Ultramarine, some light red and some Payne's Grey for there from the rocks. So I'll put that clip back on there. That's, so that I'll hold, I've got it clipped now to the edge of the board. It's, uh, this is about a 45 degree angle if you want to know. Okay now we'll get this uh, this low horizon bit. We can have some bits of cloud coming up there if we wish. So let's uh, have a look see what we can come up with. Just working that in, see if we can get a bit of impression of clouds. Right, let's put a little bit of a ochre in with that. And just going across there. the knife. Now I've complicated that, so let's just merge some of that.
Uh, right, I'll go to the leaves. I'll put a bit up the top here. Okay, I like the idea of that. I'm not sure whether it works or not, but it looks all right. Right, okay, yeah. Um, I don't want to do any more than that. Just bend it a little bit under there. So it sort of merges into that blue background. <coughs> Right, now we'll do the, uh, we'll put a bit of, bit of uh, green on the top, just a bit of paint grey, bit of light red in there. Right, now we're getting some of this uh, grey, bit of ochre. I'll fill that in a minute. More green on there. Bit of red in there because I know that in those cliffs there are bits of alizarin shale. Okay, now. So basically, um, light red and yellow ochre and the paint's grey. Bit of white, of course. Some dark shadowy bits as well. Mm. 
we can change the angles so use the knife the, the marks the knife makes cover up my marks Just three colours really. Paints grey, light red, bit of ochre and white. Good. I'm not trying to put them all in. I'm making this up by the way, I'm not uh, working for, whoops, my ears will change direction, oh dear. Oh no, that's just, that's a heat. <laughs> We've had a beautiful week of weather. It's a lovely day today, a bit, a bit cooler, and a bit more cloud, but still lovely. No complaints about this, but it's been a bit of a pain for doing watercolours and one or two other, well, and, and these as well. Because one morning I trod on a load of paint. Let's have a bit of ochre in there. Just change the strass a little bit where some dropped. Okay, now we'll uh, go in a bit, a bit darker colour down the bottom, behind where the rocks are going to go. Okay, that's coming on. It's going to take a little bit of time to do this. Right, now we want some good... Well, I'll just finish that off there. 
and we'll put in some some rocks now, some lighter rocks. Oh, just those colours. Just put the the light on the rocks. Right, let's, do, let's get this horizon in now, so I'll scrape that off, I'll go back to that in a minute, but I'll just scrape it off and we'll get in some sea colour, so ultramarine, white, bit of ochre, get a bluey green, greeny colour, is it white look? Oh. Oh, I can, no, I've got it clipped. I'm not going to show you. I'm just telling you. Right, here's the colour. It's probably the hardest bit of the painting. Getting it level and not look as if I'm uh, following the curve of the earth. I usually do. I can count a change there with the rocks. Well, that's not bad. A bit more blue in there. Just very. lighter now. Where the uh, waves are catching a little bit of uh, the sort of reflection of I have some blue white tips. Ah, put that in the red. Just a little touch. Show the white tips and then we'll come in with the yellow ochre and the white. I like doing this, it's, uh, I'm still learning, I, I'm not, I'm making it up from sort of memory. If you want to be a sea painter, you should really try and live by the sea. Sounds obvious, isn't it? But um, photographs are not always the ideal thing. Sketches, experience, looking. So as we're coming into the uh, into the beach here.
Now, I'll just change my my piece of paper here. But always have a bit of paper to wipe your knives on. I fold it in two, in two, so then I can two two ply. Well, it wasn't. It was one ply, but it's now two ply. Fold it over again. I've got about three surfaces that I can use before a used bit is face down on my table, which I don't want because I'll get the paint everywhere. You should see the mess I got in yesterday, though. No, the day before yesterday. God, was I angry? I've, I've cleaned. I've cleaned the carpet tile. I've got most of it out with dishwasher fluid. Okay, now. I want some, some blue now. now so we'll get this, this is the sort of the reflection in the, in the water, in the still water on the sand. I'll go too far in there because I want to put in my my white ripples. That's better. All right, let's get a. Oops. Get some of that sandy colour in there. These are really good fun to do. Oh, time. 29 minutes. Oh, that's not bad. Right, let's get in some rocks here now. Uh, let's have the, the grey. in Oh, I'll grab some shot of wind a bit. Very breezy. The last thing I want is the window to uh, flip. Change here, the shadow of the rock. I 
uh, I'm going to do that there. I have a counter change there. So we've got a bit of white. Not quite cool, got that counter change there. My palette, obviously, as you can see, is, is very small. Put some splits in it. Well, we have to imagine that. Uh, Right now we get this uh, get some sand in there. Uh, I'll use a bit of burnt umber. I like a little bit of burnt umber in, uh, in my sand. Gives a nicer shadowy colour and we've got quite a bit of shadow to put in in these rocks.
I need to the, 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 the blue in there. Just get that uh, bit of blue reflection. Right now let's get in with the umber behind these rocks here. Oh, I'll go back to the ochre, get the light. In here. Got another rock to put in there. Alright, then just get some light on the tops of those. wet. We'll have a bit of a bit of wet in the beach. Right, I'll do this here, this one.
Put a bit of a bit of algae, algae on there. Saw that. Just a little bit of a rock pool, I'm trying to get there. Well that'll do. Got some darkish green in there. Bit of seaweed on there. We could put some bit of that on in here, I think. Bit of variety there. And it's modelling that rock. Right, one last little bit of a uh, Too much of that. Okay, well, I don't think I can do much more to it. So I'll move my palette, there's my palette, the mess of it. I know that's going to, when I cut, it's going to slide down. So I can put a bit of, bit of, bit of that there. Get my knife. A 
they're less stupid of of uh, well that on my apron. Oh okay, I'm gonna put that in a, in a frame, let's just take that off. Give it a bit of a wipe. I might paint my my frame later. I might paint it black by way of a change. So, uh, but as it is, um, yeah. bear with me, I've got my frame ready. Sacks or pins. One, two. Oh, there we are. So we've, I've probably overdone the stratifying of it. Let's just raise you up. Oops, oh dear. Looking at me there. Yeah. Okay, come out of that. Oh, there he is. There we are. I think that's quite uh, that. That's just, just a foil for that. I think that's quite uh, interesting. Look at the sky. A bit of cloud coming up over the horizon, uh, but just a sort of a misty effect. Well, I enjoyed doing that. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching guys. I'll get this uploaded and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.